Welcome back, it's me, Lou. For today's video, we're going to do a vintage toy haul. Uh, so recently, I was visiting one of my favorite collectible toy stores. That is Wax Packs, Records, and Toys located in Roselle, Illinois. So if you live in the Chicagoland area, I highly suggest you check this place out. It's awesome. Love the place. All right, so while I was in the shop, um, I came across these gems for really, really reasonable prices. Um, I couldn't say no, especially considering how you know nice these cards were. Uh, so right now, I'm going through this weird phase where I kind of want to start collecting uh, old vintage superhero action figures mint on card. Um, the cards don't have to be perfect. Um, you know, they could be some slight marring. They could be some bent corners. I don't really care. I just want to, you know, uh, start up a small, tiny collection of these vintage toys from, you know, the late 90s or mid 90s to maybe early 2000s. Um, I just want maybe one or two figures from specific, you know, toy lines and waves. And these figures caught my eye. Uh, for one, um, these were figures I never had back in, uh, during the early 2000s, late 90s. Um, but they were figures that I really, uh, you know, had an appreciation for at the time. And when I saw these mints on card, and for the, the prices I bought them at, I had to buy them. They're awesome. Um, they're very reasonable. And when I say reasonable, I'm talking like, you know, something under, you know, $10. <laughs> so I couldn't say no to that. Um, this was a little bit pricier, but these figures were a steal. Um, so what we have here, we have Total Justice Batman. Um... I remember seeing this line of toys at KB back in the day, and I think around this time period, I was probably collecting Spawn and Star Wars, Power of the Force. Um, but, you know, I've always collected Batman figures ever since I was little, and seeing this mint on card, I'm like, I have to get this. It's it's It looks great. You know, toy engineering, you know, we're really at a different place than these older action figures. You know, this is something that probably only has five points of articulation, but... You know, for me, it's just a piece of history. I love the, the package design. I love the old comic book artwork. The logo looks great. And it's so fun. You know, this, you get this nice character. You know, this guy's probably about four and a half to five inches. Comes with all these accessories and armor. Looks fantastic. And on the back, total justice. And then here's the instructions on how to armor up Batman. And then there's some other figures in the wave. Like, I would love to be able to get, like, Darkseid and maybe Aquaman. So I'm really stoked. It's an old Kenner product to boot. Loved Kenner. So this figure is from 1996. So I was maybe, like, I think maybe a, uh, by then, I think I, that was my first year in art school. So, um... Right next to Batman, we have the Huntress, also from the Total Justice line. This is pretty sweet. It has the old KB price tag. It used to be $7.99, and she was marked down to $4.99. Really cool figure. You know, I'm just realizing this now. This is me being an idiot. All right, so back in the day, like with KB, if you saw this price tag, always it always looked like that, you know, this was originally $7.99, and then someone, like maybe an employee, took a pen and just marked it off and remarked it, you know, for a discount, you know, for $4.99. But now that I'm looking at it and comparing it to other price tags, the fonts are almost identical. So I'm kind of wondering if initially these were going to be priced at $4.99, but they kind of trick you into thinking that you're buying a bargain. So, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to say like this price tag is actually already printed out at $4.99 and it's made to look like it was marked down with a pen. That's crazy. I feel like after all these years, I'm like, <laughs> I feel kind of like lied to. All right, that's nuts. All right, but back to this figure. Um... Yeah, we have Huntress. Huntress is an awesome character. I think she's great. Uh, she comes with lots of accessories, ad additional body armor, uh, crossbow, which looks cool. Almost looks like Scarlet's crossbow from G.I. Joe. Um, she comes with like a harpoon or something. It looks neat. Um, on the back, we have Huntress. Nice bio. 
Um, other figures, there's Despero, uh, Fractal Armor Batman, Superman, Hawkman. Parallax is awesome. I'd love to get Parallax. Black Lightning and Green Arrow. Yeah, I'm so nostalgic for this time period. You know, nowadays we get DC superheroes. You know, McFarlane makes them and Spin Masters. But there's just something about these older figures, especially these smaller ones. It really takes me back. Yeah, awesome to have this figure. She looks great. Likewise, Batman looks awesome too. Here's a nice close-up of Batman. And then it brings us to this. I paid a little bit more for this. I think I paid 20 bucks for this. Um, I think this was a Walmart exclusive initially from back in the day. I think... Yeah, Walmart. Right there. Walmart. Batman and Robin. Uh, so the reason why I bought this is because I really wanted some sort of Batman animated series representation. Um, even though this isn't Batman's iconic costume, you know, even though it's black, not gray. Uh, the Ro You know, him pairing with Robin's a nice touch. It's, you know, they're neat. They're nice, clean figures. They look like how they looked like in the cartoon. You know, this is a Hasbro product. You know, pretty excited to have this. The box isn't too beat up. It's just a little bit scratched, but, I, you know, I can live with that. You know, watch Batman on Cartoon Network. This is from 2001. So you're looking at something here that's uh, roughly 20 to 21 years old. So legally, this thing could drink, depending on where you live. Yeah, so I just want to share this with you. Um, like I said, I'm going through this phase right now where I just want to start up a small, small collection of carded figures. Um, some of these figures might have been things I had in the past, you know, stuff I might have sold and I just kind of want back. Or stuff I never had before but always wanted. All right, so let's close this video off. Um, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll talk to you later.